Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Who doesn't love a good baked potato? Well, the cooking mom, Amy Hatton, shares an easy way to upgrade your baked potato and to make them a little more fancy. Take a look. Hey everybody, it's Amy, the cooking mom, back with another quick, easy recipe. I love this recipe because it's an easy way to dress up a baked potato and make it feel a little fancy. I call them fancy baked potatoes and they go with whatever you're serving. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna start out with some big baking potatoes, scrub them well and dry them. And then you're gonna take a paring knife and cut almost all the way through. We're gonna make these little slits and when they bake, you'll see what happens. Um, you can also do these on the grill. You can bake them in the oven or do them on the grill. If I'm grilling, I like to keep it all outside. Grilling a steak, might as well keep the potato out there too. So see how I'm just cutting almost all the way through, but not all the way. Now I've melted some butter, because I like a potato with lots of butter. So basically, I like to foil line your baking sheet, or if you're doing these on the grill, after you season them up, individually wrap each potato in foil and then grill them over medium heat. So you're gonna take some melted butter and just kind of drizzle it over the potatoes and see if it gets in the, the little slits there. A little bit of salt and pepper, like a kosher or sea salt always works nice. And then some Parmesan cheese. Now optional, you could also tuck in side there some cheddar cheese, some cooked crumbled bacon, that's totally up to you. You wanna bake these in the oven at 325, 350, depending on the size of your potato, anywhere from 35 minutes to an hour. Same deal on the grill, wrap, wrap each one individually in foil, grill them over medium heat, and um, they should take anywhere between 20 and, and 40 minutes. So can't wait to see how, uh, show you how these look when they're done. Everybody loves them. They're really inexpensive and they look absolutely gorgeous. You could garnish with some chives or some green onions, but they taste really great too. And as I always say, uh, enjoy, cook up some memories, and we'll see you next time. And you can find more of Amy's recipes on our website, saliving.com.